Check it out guys. Beautiful brookie on the trout magnet. I'm gonna show you my rig setup, how to fish the trout magnet, and then we'll put it all together. Show you guys how to catch some of these bad boys. We're gonna show you how to catch these trout on the trout magnet. <laughs> Look at that, acrobatics. <laughs> All right, so first, before we actually start catching the fish, I'm gonna go over the two main setups I use when using the trout magnet. The first one is relatively simple. I just tie the, well, first let me go into my rod and reel. Um, if you are looking for a good trout rod and reel, I definitely recommend the Daiwa Ultralight Reel with the Shimano Solara rod. I use this all time trout fishing, but also use it in creek streams to go smallie fishing during the summer. And it's really good, it's got great casting provides really good action for the smaller fish in creeks. And then when I'm using the trout magnet or really anything for trout fishing, I go with my main line, which here I'm going with, I believe it's six pound braid. And then at the end, I tie in a fluorocarbon leader, about four pounds, depending on the size of trout I'm going for. And that's just because the fluorocarbon's a tar to see, which is gonna let you hook up on more trout. Okay, so now we'll get into the actual setup. The first one's relatively simple. I sometimes will add a split shot, and then I just tie the trout magnet jig. And then I just tie the trout magnet jig right to the line. And then with that, you basically just jig it right off the bottom. And it's relatively simple, super easy setup. Good way to target very like, select areas if you're trying to finesse fish a certain hole right behind a rock. This is a great setup just to target that one area. The other way I use a trout magnet, and that's probably the one I use most commonly, is a float fishing setup. So you can see here, I got a couple floats that I use depending on the situation. I have the trout magnet, easy trout floats. Those are probably the ones I use most often. They're easy to put on your line, take off as needed, and give you a little extra weight to your line to allow you to cast out the relatively light trout magnet. However, you can also go with bubble floats or water bubble floats, and that's this here. And these are clear, which some people say helps you target the trout and the trout won't see it. And you can actually fill it with water to add additional weight to your line. It's gonna help you cast out further. As you can see, trout magnets come in quite a few different colors. I got quite a variety selection just so I can kind of tweak it with the conditions I'm fishing in. If it's clear, I'll go with kind of a lighter color. If it's darker, go with more of a natural darker color. The setup's relatively simple. You just throw a easy float onto your line. I like to put it up, depending on the depth, I try to make the trout float just float right along the bottom. So if you, so you want to kind of almost be snagging the bottom sometimes, and that's how you're going to know you're you know, at the bottom. If you're never snagging the bottom, you're probably too high up in the water column and won't give you bites. And these easy trout floats are relatively easy to adjust. You can just move it up and down your line, depending on the depth you're fishing. And then sometimes I will put a split shot on if I'm fishing deeper water. That's just going to help it sink down the bottom quicker and faster, allow you to fish the deeper pools more effectively. And you can even, if you need additional casting distance, add another one of these, or even go with that to add a little weight. And then you can use a strike indicator, which is just foam and super lightweight, but you can put that closer to the trout magnet, and that will give you even more of a defined touch. And you can. You know, this is, the trout's a lot less likely to feel this just because it's so light when it starts to take it. And it'll almost give you an early indication that you're getting a bite. So those are the two main setups we use when using a trout magnet. Now we're going to go to the stream and show you how to actually fish it and hook up on some trout. This is the first section we're going to be fishing. The reason why I'm liking this is you have this outflow, which basically acts as a little creek bringing in minnows down into this pool. And most likely that's when you find the trout. They're gonna be sitting probably right in this pool underneath those rapids. Man, it's gonna be coming in and that's when they're gonna hit. So we're gonna target this pool first. That's definitely what I'm gonna be looking out for. Ripples going to the pools, outflows coming into the river, and then holes and drop-offs. Uh, so how I'm working this little trout magnet, not using a float, you can definitely use a float with the trout magnet. So I don't work this trout magnet. I'm just putting a little split shot up here to get a little more casting distance. You could float it, but today I'm going to show you guys how to jig it, a little micro jig. And basically we're just going to cast it out there and just keep popping it up. When you pop it up, it's going to rise up in the water. 
that's when they'll generally hit it as it's coming back down. And on your next pop, you should just hook them. Pop, let it go down. 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 You're positive. Woo. On a trap magnet. Pop it. Pop, pop, pop. Woo! Trap magnet, baby. Rookie boy on the trap magnet. Booyah! Trap magnet, baby. Jigging it like I told you guys. The song, take it. And I set the hook right away before you realize it was a fake bait. Looks like a brookie. Just keep that line taut. Keep pressure on the hook. Uh, he's got some cool colors. This brook. Half the brooks in here seem to just be like white. And the other half. Got the classic orange underside. From Edinburgh. Mm. Nice brookie here on the pink trout one, baby. Booyah! Right in the corner of the lip, saw him take it. I was just jigging it. <laughs> okay, when you're float fishing, you're going to want to keep your line as high as it can go up out of the water. You can see I keep a high line, and that keeps as much line out of the water as possible. It makes it a nice, <laughs> nice natural flow. I don't know what that was. And the natural flow is what the trout are going to bite. I'm going to freak out if it's not a natural flow. So you just keep it out of the water and high. Made the switch to the trout magnet on the float. Hooked up on the first cast. Oh yeah, on the trout magnet, baby.